Capricorns, welcome to my space, my little home on the internet. Watch Natalie spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E. -E. I'm here to do your Capricorner special, special readings I do just for Capricorns and the crazy people that love us. I don't do this for any other sign. I only do this for Capricorns. So here we go. Let's call the Capricorner. Okay, guys. And that's because I'm a Capricorn, sure, but also a Capricorn stellium. And I just, I really feel like, it, like I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by the screen freezing. I truly believe it is the Capricorn energy, the Capricorns, maybe even the ones, those of us that have the stelliums that are going to basically lead the world into abundance and fruition, <laughs> okay? No, but honestly, you guys, the Mars and Capricorn is something that, I mean, I'm Natalie's personally sort of struggling with. For me, it's impatience and frustration. So if you're experiencing that, it's Mars and Capricorn. Now listen, Mars is beautiful in uh, Capricorn. It's wonderful. You'll get so much done. Honestly, I feel like it's just a few of us. I have my Mars and Aries, so I really... When I first started putting up readings on YouTube, I actually started to um, think to myself, I thought, you know, if I could have been psychic and patient, but being psychic and impatient, it's, it's like, oh, it's horrible and it's horribly cruel. Uh, okay, so for those of us who have maybe a little bit of fire in our charts or if you're just feeling impatient and frustrated, and but like a lot of energy and nowhere to put it or just like a lot of energy in general that's what that is it's mars and capricorn working on you so <sighs> deep breathing definitely meditation absolutely meditation if you're not meditating start meditating v-i-p-a-s-s-a-n-a -S -S -A -N -A. vipassana is the meditation that i like to use it's dhamma.org d-h-a-m-m-a dot org that's their their website and I mean, that's just what I use, but there's so much out there that I would, you know, look into. Okay, you guys. So let's, let's see. There, there, okay. Um, ooh, what was that? <laughs> I'm just taking the top card. That tower. I knew it. I knew I could feel something coming. Okay. I want to just make this all about the tower now. Let's take this and start taking a look into this. I'm going with the flow here. Not quite sure how we're structuring this reading. Like I said, I'm just going with the flow that it wants me to follow. This is sort of, I'm just looking, oh, I'm looking at the fire, that big lick of flame right at the very top by the crown. It just reminded me when I was channeling your energy Capricorn, when I was tuning into tapping into the collective Capricorn sea goat energy, I felt the frustration, the impatience, but I also felt flames. I felt fire all around me. Honestly, I felt like I was the devil in the devil card and I felt the flames kind of just licking off of my shoulder. Do I have my lighter? I don't have it in arm's reach because I would like light it and I would show you but I just feel it like but kind of like at my shoulder blades just like the little warmth of the lick of the and I feel like this is um they wanted they that's why they're pointing me out to this I almost want to pick up the dang laptop and show you what it is but you will just have to take my word for it okay so, you guys, oh, <gasps> you guys, I can't even right now. Oh my God. That's exactly what this is. Holy shit. This is a breakthrough moment. This is breakthrough. Wow, Capricorn, you're about to, <gasps> ooh. They're show it's almost like a gladiator type of thing where it's like the arena opens and then like a beast comes out from the shadows and it's like you're the you're the beast you're the beast and it's like you're deformed you are strange and weird and you've got 
um, not swagger, but maybe you limp because of a battle from 10 years ago where you won over the Belrog, or like you've got these battle scars riddled with stories and insight and wisdom and knowledge and you are different you're changed you did not have this fluffy upbringing or this fluffy early adulthood or this fluffy perfect trajectory in your life that's not you you went through some stuff you went through hell and back again you've been through I would even say you've been through tower moment energy I'm feeling like you this is this is almost part of your natural cycle, except this time, this is a breakthrough instead of a breakdown Capricorn. So you might be used to breakdowns and blow ups and things not working for you in a big way, sabotage, failure, you know, just like a complete obliteration of relationships, family, um, jobs, careers, personal breakdowns. You know, maybe you've spent some time like in a facility, maybe you've spent some time in a rehab, maybe you've spent some time on a meditation course. Vipassana has like where you go to learn the technique and they pay for your room and board and you just learn the technique of meditation for 10 days straight. Um, But you've had things that have driven you and demanded and commanded you to start over, start completely from the ground up. And building yourself from the ground up. Sorry, Natalie here is just like, holy, I can't get over this. That's exactly, I mean, I'm telling you, I I felt it. I can, it's feeling this. And here's the thing is that like with me and impatience, let's just take that. Let's just take impatience. This would be you overcoming impatience, you overcoming anger, you overcoming depression, you overcoming addiction. It's something that you go to or you went to. Cigarettes, alcohol, drugs, even insanity, even like indulging yourself into feelings of despair, depression, hatred, lust, negative for you really really bad for you you indulged it okay this is you it's like chains broken off because it's there here's the thing what doesn't kill you just makes you stranger okay do you remember that so that's what i'm getting here like you being the beast coming out of the gladiator thing into the arena you're different you're changed You don't go through all of this, all these tower moments in your life to come out cookie cutter like the guy that had the fluffy life. It's not the point. It's not the purpose. You were meant to go through everything that you're going through that you went through in life until now to create a different creature, to create a different you, a stronger, solidified, more empowered, and more individual and free it's, this is like the freest you there is. It's like, honestly, you're like the devil here and you've got the tower moment over here and then you've got the tower moment over here. So no matter where you turn, you're, it, this, is, this is it. This is, this is pushing you into who you're meant to become. And this, I feel, is number one, three major arcana energy so it's happening to you outside of your control and number two i feel like this is sort of unavoidable where even if you wanted to let's say you've been sober for a while and even if you wanted to go down to the bar and drink it's like you would every step of the way trying to turn back but like actually pushing yourself to go to the bar pushing yourself pushing yourself to go to the liquor store, even buying the alcohol. But it's like, when it comes time to bring it to your face, you're like, I'm really done. Like, I'm really done. You know what I'm saying? It's like, wow, it doesn't even, wow. 
and it's like obliterated or maybe just like a lot of crazy stuff happens like you get a, a, a life-changing phone call when you're about to really or it's like there's there's just a lot that is conspiring outside of your control to break you free and this is like I'm saying this is like a free will choice that you were kind of going to going to again and again and again for some of you this is purely mental for some of you like I'm now looking at his face look at that face wow that face that face okay it's that but they're giving me mental with that face it's like for some of you you could have overindulged in revenge fantasies or like murder fantasies I don't know how dark you're getting we're Capricorn so we go pretty dark but go okay so someone I'm resonating for it's like you go to the very darkest thoughts about other people or even about yourself in your own life you're, you just go there okay this is this is like a complete wiping of the slate clean there's something here with this tower moment these tower moments have it's like everywhere you go there's tower moments okay this is either something that you can visually see or it's totally happening in other threads of your energy structure in life where you don't see it happening but it's going to show itself to you in some way shape or form I feel like that's the overall so we're actually going to do the spread now so let me get those cards down So the spread for this Capricorn will be what's coming down. A little bit what's coming down. But what's this clean slate? Because that's all. I mean, one. we only needed one tower, to be honest. We only needed to get the point across. We only needed one tower. It's strong enough. It's powerful enough. It's, it's, as far as the major arcana, it's arguably the most powerful energy in the deck as far as something that you can see feel experience in real time in a visceral way on a visceral level it's outside of your control it just it hits you like a lightning bolt it's just wow i'm gonna go and use the um again if you're feeling impatient this could feel it's like you're the devil, you're overcoming impatience. And then when you do, you get it all. It all just comes up to you. Quicker than you could have. <laughs> One card came out and it's the Ace of Cups. It's going up there with the overall. So, because I'm still shuffling, I'm still shuffling. And this one just sort of like. I'll show you it was like this and then it went whew, like it really kind of came out on its own so now we have this now we have an ace in the picture so there's there's holy high heck Capricorn there's a person that is going to rock your world oh they're telling me that's done okay 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 I'm cutting it Okay, let's get our, our spread down. This person... Hmm. This is interesting. So we haven't gotten our second layer down yet, but we have just one, sorry, two major arcana energies in here. So the majority so far of this first layer, first layer, of this first spread are man-made self-determined energies so this overall this is this is probably you reacting and just you know reacting to life's changes oh, bottom of the deck we have the empress the seven of staves and the page of swords
Oh, things are getting so interesting. Ooh. They're showing me the gladiator thing. It's like you, there's going to be this, uh, this, it's almost like you have a bigger arena to play in. This could be some sort of, it's like they're showing me the, um, the layers. It's like you burst through the atmosphere and you're in a whole different zone. You're in a whole different layer with the, with those power cards. It's like, yeah, no, there, it's a real burst. They're showing me the one sperm that breaks through the barrier to fertilize. It's it's like a powerful thing like that. Is what that's what they're showing me. Just saying, just saying. That's what they're showing me. Okay, this feels good. Just thirded this deck, and here we go. <gasps> Interesting. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Wow, Capricorn. Now, here we have you, the King of Pentacles, we have the Four of Swords, and then the Queen of Swords beneath that, Ten of Cups beneath that. Interesting. You are, you're making some moves, Capricorn. You're trying to do this. You're trying to break through to something. You're trying to um, bring this tower energy. So this could be, think of it this way. It's. I could say you are going to meet this person who could really rock your world and take your life in a whole new place. That could also be you channeling that energy. You might be the force. You might be this wild element in nature that's affecting some person or situation in just this groundbreaking fashion. Because in the channeling, I did feel the flames on myself. And honestly, it wasn't bad. Like, it wasn't a negative experience. It felt good. It f oh, that's right. I forgot. The reach, um, I got roasty. Because when I was feeling it, it was warm. And it was like, it didn't hurt. It didn't hurt at all. I was just feeling this. unrestrained passionate energy and I couldn't tell if it was impatience or anger or passion like it was kind of all of that so you can steer this energy so this sort of craving for a cigarette craving for a drink craving for a negative thought craving for a violent fantasy that's what I was picking up on so that energy you can when it's coursing through you it's like oh and you can steer it to something that will serve you. And that's what you're doing. And that's what this is. I'm channeling a Capricorn who knows how to use their energies this way, who can be self-aware and say, I'm feeling this energy. And then they can take it and they can, they can steer it into something that's going to bring them a return. <sighs> roasty, but I got roasty because it just felt 
it felt it felt toasty first of all it did feel toasty but i got roast like roasting now here's okay here's a really cute little thing about capricorns um us capricorns so if you're watching for your capricorn for the care and keeping of your capricorn you have one of two different types of capricorn we have amazing senses of humor we're incredibly funny people some of us it's like we all start in that oversensitive space where we can't really take a joke or we don't where we're sort of like hard and old but that's when we're really young like we have a reverse aging thing so we actually get better as we get older we get funnier as we get older we just every everything in life and our personality gets better when we get older so the upside of that the capricorn that doesn't get so like easily offended or easily disrespected or whatever it's the difference between a capricorn who can't really laugh at themselves and then the capricorn who loves a good roasting that's what i'm getting when i'm saying i feel roasty i feel roasted i feel like roasting i feel like there's something about this i don't know if you're using this humor capricorn i don't know if you um like make fun of yourself to put everyone else at ease but in a really funny biting sophisticated sort of admirable way but it's part it's it's coming up your humor actually that, that roasty roastedness it's coming up but we'll get into this and see where it's coming up because i feel like that's actually going to make a difference for you and whatever you're trying to do this could be you trying to start a relationship with that ace of cups it could be someone trying to start a relationship with you it could also indicate indicate it could also indicate that there is this huge relationship coming through and that it like it's on its way to you in this tower moments and these two tower moments rather and it's like it's like you might even have to restrain yourself in a sense where you might have to restrain um, the impatience or for some of you it's even like a thirst for power or it's greed or it's you know, you could be, it's, they're showing me Galadriel in the Lord of the Rings where Frodo's like, you want the one ring? You can have it. Take it. You'll do better with it than I will. And Galadriel's like, <gasps> and she has to kind of stop herself from taking that ring because everyone's going to look at that ring and say, you know what? I can take that ring. I would be the better leader than anyone else with the ring. If I had the one ring of power, I wouldn't be corrupt. I would use it for good purposes. And then everyone wears the ring and they go super corrupt. They use it for their own benefit. They use it so they can hold on to their power. You know, and she's wise enough to know that. So she has her moment where she indulges that devil energy where she's like, the world, what does she say? The world will not have a tyrant, but a queen more forceful and beautiful than all it's you know she does her whole like thing and blows him away and she gets super blue and she goes like this and then she i'm sorry i'm walking you through like moment to moment sorry film person here and and then it calms down and she's like oh i passed the test the spiritual test okay it's like now she becomes galadriel the white or whatever you know it's it's it could also be that for you so keep that in mind that you know you're being present this is on its way it's it, there's a little bit of overlap here with you ending this energy and sort of you know proving what you know seeing it on its feet all the spiritual work that you've been doing on yourself and then this stuff coming in it's like you know just make sure that you are kind of assessing yourself moment to moment to make sure that you are keeping yourself in check because you could get why you could you, it could just happen before you even it could just happen really fast and if you don't take that moment to check in with yourself the energies will be moving through you just as fast and then you won't have that moment where you steer yourself to channel the energies in a way that will benefit you you'll just go with it and if you just go with it and not 
be judicious with your own energy could self-sabotage totally i'm not getting that i'm not getting that though i'm just putting it out there because it's a possibility and i'd rather you know that than not know that okay let's get into the reading so capricorn in the far past this is what we have for context this is you know moving forward i'll put the rest of the reading into this context so this really does give us what the situation is about this is about a conversation you had with someone. This is about a moment in the past. It could be distant past years ago, or it could be a couple months ago, a couple weeks ago. It's somewhere behind you though. This is a conversation where you either were honest with someone in terms of what you want to learn from them. Um, you could have asked someone to be your mentor or asked someone to help you in some way, shape or form or that person had that that approach to you and you you both talked about this but there is a really not only clarifying but a victorious moment in that past where it was considered a victory for you to even have this conversation it could even have something to do with your ego so if you had a conversation that was difficult for you but you knew that you needed to have it you're showing up as the page energy and I feel like whatever this is, you're the page in this wider structure. So you are either learning how something works, learning how a business works, learning how a company is run or the culture in this company, the culture in this industry. And you're talking with someone who is sort of either a... Mm, you're talking with someone that can help you. And this person, sorry, I'm getting like way excited here. This person, I'm getting that they're, see the one, two on either side. I'm getting the balance between severity and grace. So like I said, you could have went to this person asking to be a mentor. Let's go ahead and we'll clarify this on, on in the YouTubes, okay? Clarifying the page of pentacles with the ace of swords for Capricorn, please. We have the ten of swords with, and I'm just taking the top cards from both of these decks, they, they stayed shuffled, they're over there. Okay, so we have the 10 of swords with a six of um, cups here. So this could be with someone that you, God, it's so weird because here's the thing, with the six of cups, this is either someone you're um, related to, their family, they're a friend from childhood, they are a best friend, an old friend, you know, a cousin, a, a family member, an old lover, a lover who you maybe were like high school sweethearts, someone you felt like you were friends, you know, for a long time. It's someone who feels very familiar to you. So if someone new is coming into your life and you don't know him from Adam, you could have something in common with this person. Or when I say something in common, I mean something really deep, like you both lost your mom when you were seven years old kind of thing in common or you just feel like you've known them before you just feel comfortable with them this is someone you've had past life relationships with and that explains that familiarity when you meet them fresh in this lifetime so look out for that that's the person with whom you've had this conversation I'm giving you this detail so that you know whether to join me on the flip side or if this does not apply to you. I'm trying to be like as helpful as possible. Okay, so with the Ten of Swords, there is an end here. There is like an absolute no more room on this Titanic savior rafter boat max past max capacity. No more. And what I feel like that is, is your ego, Capricorn. Remember when I said that you're coming in as the page, excuse me, the page, you're not really a page. You're a proficient, exacting, specific Capricorn. There's an area of expertise that you own, that you like, there's something that no one knows more than you, that you are the, the, um, the authority. Thank you. You are the authority on something. It's not this though. Whatever this is, this could be someone who's a great balance to you. Because what I'm getting from this is that you felt comfortable enough 
to approach because the pages, like the knights, bring, take, travel, convey messages and situations in our life. So you felt comfortable enough to bring, and with an air of humility, with an air of studious curiosity, studiousness and curiosity, you felt comfortable enough to approach this person for help in learning this right here, this very act that you did, and this had to have happened. Otherwise, this is not you. This is not your energy. This had to have happened, and it happened ending, ending your apprehension. I feel like with this little itty bitty page, there was some insecurity. There was like, oh my God, I'm embarrassed that I don't know enough about this. I'm embarrassed that I don't have you know, the proficiency in this, I'm an expert over here, but not nil zilch in this. It's, it's a little, it's a very humbling type of energy. So I feel like that humbling energy is exactly the opposite of what I channeled for you. So I feel like that's what ended in the far past is that dominating sort of, it's either impatience or wanting to put pressure on someone or feeling entitled to something or like real anger or, um, you know, there was something really conflicting there inside of you that was preventing you, you know, and, it, and it's like you've been burned by your ego in the past. You've been burned by not approaching someone and talking to them about something in the past. You have, you know, felt this energy and it's the swords are pointing down. So it's negative energy. You felt this negative energy and instead of turning it to make it work for you, you let it ride it. You let it ride you. You let that negative energy ride you and you either never had a conversation like this, you never asked someone for help or you never told someone about your idea or you didn't, it's like, but it has something to do with speaking, with words, with um, really conveying. It's really about this conversation. There's some sort of conversation or something you said that you just didn't do before or you didn't do the way you do it now, or you didn't do it with the success that you do it with now, or it doesn't land like it does now. Because with the Ten of Swords, it's like, well, that issue is over. That lesson is completed. So in the far past, this is everything in the future for you comes from this important conversation that you had with somebody. Okay. And it's about starting something. It's about learning it's about sharing knowledge and wisdom and information and possibly business with this pentacle and sword energy here. <sighs> wow, Capricorn. I cannot wait to get into the extended. I will see you over there if this is resonating. If not, I will see you guys next week for next week's Capricorn. If you need a personal reading, you can book me at theartigan.com slash shop. If you need it immediately, you can add the 24-hour rush. It's available whenever. So you can always just add yourself to the queue. And if something comes up before, then you can add the rush at a later date. No biggie. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Would you like to be my mentor? That person, your mentor. This mentor sees you as a winner. A huge winner. A huge, huge, huge winner. Capricorn can go all the way is what I just heard. Or maybe you and this person love to watch roastings or love to watch comedy specials. There's something with comedy and with roasting. So you or this other person could do that. Like you could light up the dinner party with your ability to just walk into any group of people and start roasting and have everyone in stitches over it. Capricorns are really funny. So it's you or this other person. Maybe it's even both of you. You could bring it out in them or they could bring it out in you. That's someone's clarif That's someone's confirmation out there. Because they see themselves in you because they're an emperor as well. They're an emperor and they see you as an emperor. Sort of like this is also your turn. I'm getting this is like taking turns with this wheel of fortune. It's like a turn. Like this is almost like, almost like they're passing the baton 